When the celebrities come out to play, it's always fun, fun and fun. And today we have two of Ghana's youngest artists who are making a great difference in the industry. In the right corner, we have the winner of the Hip Hop Artist of the Year at the just ended Vodafone Ghana Music Awards. The real and man, Papi Kujo, contesting today with his manager, Pa Debra. In the left corner, we have the winner of the New Artist of the Year at the just ended Vodafone Ghana Music Awards. The tiptoe queen, Miss V, contesting with the hype man show. Then. So it's a hip hop meets dancehall thing today. Will Tim Rilanu take home the cash or will the tiptoers tiptoe their way to the top? Let's find out on today's edition of It Takes Two. <laughs> It's another exciting Sunday, and we're here again with It Takes Two right here on GH1 TV. Godfrey Lies, my name, and welcome to the Den, where we play those interesting games and give you a chance to win a lot of cash and also those power banks by Pison. Probably brought to you by MTN, ladies and gentlemen. One more time, we are about to play. The question is, who is going to win what and how are they going to spread today? We'll find out in just a bit. So, yes, Godfrey Lies, my name, ladies and gentlemen. And welcome to another exciting edition of It Takes Two, your favorite game show right here on GH1. It's probably brought to you by MTN everywhere you go and supported by Pison, your smart life. Great, we're about to get into the quest for today to find out who's going to play for what and who is going to win what. Third celebrity episode coming up, we've already seen Bassi and Maria who walked away with 1,000 Ghana CDs. DKB and Chemical came up next, they had 500 Ghana CDs and today the question is, between Miss V and Sheldon or Papi Kojo and Pa Debra, who is going to go away with the biggest cash prize? We'll find out in just a bit. We always have that commercial break. Right after that, we'll get straight into game number one, and then we'll see who's going to stand tall. Thank you very much to Elkem Kumaji, the tailor, for the hookup on my costume. I'm excited, and I hope you are, because when I get back, it's round number one of competition, and it's straight to game time. I'll be right back. All right, so we're back from that break. It's now time to officially start the competition for today. But just before then, though, MTN would like to let you know that uh, keep your number active this year and you stand the chance to win some fantastic prizes. A three-bedroom house, a brand new Kia Rio saloon car, iPhone 6, and a lot more. Now, all you have to do is just pick up your phone, dial star 120 hash, and take it from there. You see the number of points that you have, and you're on your way to something great. Talking about something great, I have the best when it comes to hip-hop right here to my left. And I have dance hall to my right in the presence of Miss V and Papi Kojo. And trust, on the show for today, they came with their friends. So I'm now about to get into that one-on-one -on -one conversation, just a little chit-chat before we kickstart the games. Let me turn to Miss V first. Miss V, how you doing? I'm amazing. Good. So natural. This girl is. And uh, I wish I could come over and touch the natural no. it's, it's like all like, you know. And I like the black leather jacket. That's, 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 that's. Thank you. She's got a sexy on. Moving on, Sheldon. How you doing? All right. Right, right. Good. Now you told me that you're the hype man for Miss V. How's crowd that going? motivator. Oh, crowd motivator. Yes. You actually get on pump up the crowd before she comes on. How long have you guys known each other? <laughs> Yesterday. Uh, okay, that's gonna be a problem. <laughs> yeah. How long have you been doing this, hanging out together? Uh, about a year ago. About a year. About a week. You think a year is good enough to come up against what they have? Oh, we've been jamming since. You've been jamming since. Yeah. So you on know stage, her very well? On, on st stage, yeah. He uh, knows me on stage, so uh, we'll see. But does he know you off stage? Because nah. that's going to count the most here. Yeah. No. She's a stranger. But we'll work some magic, don't worry. I hope your magic is good <laughs> enough, and I hope your magic is better than what I'm going to find out on this side. Let's talk some hip-hop. Papi, how you doing, man? Oh, Welcome to the show. And party, everybody. What's good? I'm chilling. Now, between you and Pappy, how many years do you have together? How long have you known each other? Like six years. Like six years. Since or nine. Wow, okay, yeah. that's a while. That you have one year to have six years already. It looks like pow! Wow, Miss V is going karate <laughs> now. Alright. So yeah. you what you manage Pappy. Yeah. Great. Uh how long have you been managing him though? <laughs> Four months. <laughs> like, yeah, like, like six months. So you're friends and you took it to the next stage yeah. you decided to do and how's that going though? Is that right? He's doing great. So yeah, 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 a lot yeah. of gigs. Yeah. They just translate to like a lot of cash. Oh, yeah. Small, small. Small. So, so small, maybe you, small, you small, might small. want to skip the money. Let me take the money for today. No, just no, in case you. Are no, oh, you still no. taking the money? Yeah. Huh. 
for papaya. For papaya. <laughs> yeah. But the thing about what's going to happen today is that since you're all celebs, whatever you win at the end of the show has to be donated to a charity of your course. Okay. Is that okay? Yes. Are we cool? <laughs> uh, the gentleman on this side don't look no, like a I, I just. Yeah, it's something cool. like that, like a week ago, so yeah. I don't see why I should do that. <laughs> oh, no, I mean, Tadagoy. <laughs> this is, yeah? He told me before the show that yeah. he has a sister called Charity, so he's so going to give the money to Charity. Sister's charity. So let's make it clear, you know. A, yeah. a charity, charitable organization, yeah. an office. Yeah. Oh, okay. Are we okay? Yeah, sure. Not, no, no, it's called Charity. Are we okay? Oh, okay. So we're good? Yeah. All right, so whoever's going to win, like I said, will donate that money to Charity. But the most important part is that we're going to play a game and have a lot of fun right here on the show. Are you ready for round number one? Yes. Are you guys ready for round yeah. number one? All right, like they say, let's get ready to rumble. Round number one of competition is called Knowing Me, Knowing You. So I want to find out how well Shelby, you know, Miss V, hopefully, like I said, off stage, and between Pa Debra and Papi Kujo, how well you guys know each other. Now, I'll need one of you to step backstage into the booth with me, and one of you is going to have to remain up on stage. So, Papi, Pa Debra, who's going to stay, who's going to leave? I'll leave. Shelby, Miss V. Yeah. You going to leave? Yeah. Okay, let me walk you over this side. That's a fast one. No, let me leave. Uh, leave. Okay, guys, are, are you really going to decide now who, who wants to leave, please? <laughs> All right, so I have some headphones in there. I'll get you some music. You can keep yourself company just a bit. You want hip hop? We'll get you some hip hop. Not to worry, right? Now, between Sheldon and Ms. V on this side, who's going to stay? Who's going to leave? Uh, she should stay. Sheldon has decided to go, so we'll walk in here. Just be in here for a bit. Get your headphones, get some music, and I'll come get you in just a bit. Oh, God, that's so real. So he's really not going to hear anything. No, he should not hear anything. No. Because what I need to ask you is I want to know how well you know Sheldon and how well he knows you. Same as you, Papi Kojo. Why do you keep looking? You're not going to get access from the door, you know that? Can I go? No, you can't go. <laughs> it's too late for that. I'll be okay. So I'm about to ask you guys a couple of questions, all right? I need to get answers from both of you. Then after that, I'm going to bring out Sheldon. I'll bring out Pa Debra. Ask the same set of questions, and we'll see how many you're going to get correct. Are we okay? Okay. Are we good? Sure. Ladies and gentlemen, at this point, the battle is about to go down. Hip-hop on one side, dance hall on the other side, but fun most importantly. We'll be right back after this break. So here we go with round number one of competition. And just like courtesy demands, I'll start with the lady. Poppy, is that okay? Can I start with Miss V? Yeah, why not? Ladies first, Miss V, so I'm coming in your direction. Okay. First question for today. What is the holiday destination Sheldon would like to visit the most? Sheldon would like to enjoy a holiday in a club. That's, that's his holiday destination. He's a club boy, so. <laughs> Are you sure? I'm, I'm telling you. A holiday in the club. Yeah. He can stay there the whole weekend and be fine. All right, that's what Miss V says. Holiday destination, the club. That's a bit tricky, but I will let that pass. <laughs> Second question. Now, what would Sheldon want most for a gift? If you had to give him a gift, what do you think he would appreciate the most? I don't know. The latest sneakers. 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 Yeah. Sneakers you go for. Yeah. Okay, sneakers it is, says Miss V. Third question. What is Sheldon's dream job? He wants to hype me forever. <laughs> Miss V, be nice here. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> Sheldon would like to produce. Produce. Yes. So dream job you want to be a producer. Yes. Maybe who knows? The next Timberland or something. We'll find out. Yeah. The final question. Since you love sneakers so much, what is Sheldon's shoe size? 40. 40 says Miss V. Okay. When Sheldon comes out, we'll find out. Okay. Let me come over to Papi Kojo. Papi, how you doing? You missed part of already? Oh, yeah. Uh, I'll bring out in a bit, don't worry, but not before you answer these questions. Mm -hmm. So, set, set of questions coming out your way. First one, what is the holiday destination party would like to visit the most? Kumasi. <laughs> All right, if you say so, I'll leave it there. Now, to the second one, what would Padre Brown appreciate most as a gift? Sneakers. Sneakers, okay. Third question, what is his dream job? Fashion designer. Really. Fashion designer, you say? Yeah. Good? You sure? Yeah, I'm sure. Okay, now the final question. What is part of a shoe size? I think it's size 11. Size 11? Yeah. Are you sure? US 11. US 11? Yeah. So I'm going with US 11. Yeah. All right, great, ladies and gentlemen. As you've heard, interesting answers coming out from Miss V and also from Papi Kojo. At this point, I'm going to walk back, bring out Sheldon, and I'm going to bring out Pa Debra. Let me start with Sheldon first. I'm a bit worried for that gentleman, so I'm going to bring him out first. Miss V was not too nice to him. Sheldon, how you doing? 
out. Yeah, hot ass girl, you can come on. Just come on now, come on now. Good. The Monty Oats.com exclusive. Whew. All right, so. How, how long you say you know Ms. V for again? About a year. <laughs> about a year. Okay, that kind of explains it. Well, Ms. V said a couple of things about you. Some I'll tell you now. Some I would meet you later and tell you about them because we need to do something about them. But those that she said about you is what we're going to address, right? I asked a couple of questions and these were her answers. Do you want to know the answers? Yeah, don't make the game faster. I right, know. Let me get your answers first. That should make it a lot more fun, don't you think? Okay. First question I asked her. What is that holiday destination you've always longed for? That one place you like to visit? No. If you had to just pick one place and go, what would you want to go to? There's in a particular place I'd like to go. Say again? Yeah, nowhere in particular. <laughs> nowhere? You don't have a holiday destination? No. No, well, the only other place that exists exist so it's fine. Don't spoil it. Don't spoil it. That's what Miss V said. Don't spoil it, so okay. I let that go. Miss V, what did you say? You see, I told them, Sheldon, don't be angry. <laughs> I told them, listen, I told them you didn't have any, but he, he pressured me. Uh, I don't. So I told him you like to stay in a club. She said, uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Moving on to question number two. <laughs> then I asked her, what would you appreciate most as a gift? If somebody had to give you a gift, what would blow your mind? Um, sneakers. Her sneakers, and that's exactly what Miss B said, correct? I'm impressed, she got it. Jordans. Jo okay, Jordans be Dude, specific, that's good. Sneakers is fine. Give just oh, for those I who want to, you know. Uh, okay, yeah. alright. What is your dream job? Make movies, make music, anything really. No, you need to break it down. It's still too broad. I need one definite answer. Oh. Um. Come on. Come on, we need to go. Come on. Uh, I, I, I need one word. Yeah, I need one word. Like a farmer, a doctor, a surgeon. Totally. I, I, you, I think you're out of time. Oh, All right? Okay. Ironically, what she said was, you're going to be a hype man for the rest of your life. So if you had gone with that, you're going to get it. It's a big no, but he, he said music. He <laughs> no, 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 no. No, he, no, he said a lot of things. I can't let you have it on that one. So my last and final one coming out to you. What is your shoe size? Oh, um, I have two. No, you have two. <laughs> Come on now. Yeah, one for football boots, one for. Uh, no, shout I need what shoe size? What's your shoe size? Okay, anything between fourteen. I, I, I don't need a between. I need a definite. Are you like a six? Are you like a seven? Are you a fifty-four? What's your shoe size? A forty-one. Forty-one, but Miss B said forty was close. But like they say, close but no cigar. So that brings us to the end of round one on your side. It's time to go bring our partner up and see how well Papi and Pa are going to do. All right, so he wanted some hip hop music. I hope you got your hip hop music. Are you okay? Come yeah. on out now. Good, good time to come up. Good. Woo! <laughs> All right, now, part of you're out. Whilst you were in there, I asked Papi Kojo a couple of questions and he gave me some interesting answers. So I'm about to ask you the same set of questions and let's see how are you going to do. Great. The first question I asked, what, <laughs> what is your holiday destination? That one place you want to visit. Who, me? Yeah, you. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah, cool. Well, it was a switch between Kumasi and Kyo. He actually had a battle, but it, he put Kumasi. <laughs> of course he will go. <laughs> so, I'm sorry, I'm going to move on to the second one. But really though, uh, don't you have any holiday destination outside Ghana? No, that's a cool one. No, no, wait, wait, wait. I, I'm just asking you. Like, yeah, probably Tanzania. Okay, but he just went dead on. First thing he said was cool. I was asking. Yeah, because I'm from Kowu, so. So that's your holiday destination? Yeah. Really? <laughs> Moving on to question number two. You lost, you lost that one. What? Yeah, you lost it. What's that one thing that you would appreciate most as a gift? Sneakers. Sneakers, uh, sneakers, correct. Papi got that one right. Third question. Uh, dream job. What's that one thing you want to do? Oh, wow. Papi, what's with that? Is that supposed it's to bring out the answer? Like, very obvious. Okay. Really? <laughs> 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 um, do what I'm doing now, managing him. Managing him, that's all. Like branding yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, he said that you love fashion so much. Oh! <laughs> Designer, right? And our final question in the first round for knowing me, knowing you. Uh, sure, I yeah. asked him, what was your shoe size? US size 11. US size 11, that's exactly what Happy said. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we've come to the end of round one. We've got a quick commercial break coming up. If you want to know who is in the lead, when we come back, I promise to let you in on that information. We'll be right back.
All right, so we're back from round number one. We're about to step into round number two. But then if you're trying to guess and figure out who is in the lead, well, let me help you with that one. After round number one, Ms. Ray Sheldon have three points, and Happy Kojo and Padre have for themselves six points. So it looks like they have taken a commanding lead, but that could all change right here in round number two. I mean, I know you so well, but you don't know yourself that well because I answered the questions right. And he who, couldn't answer the question. Who questions, wants to right? go to a club as their holiday resort type thing? No, but you're there. He sleeps in a club, so I mean, where else? Yeah. Knowing me, knowing you, we came, we saw, we conquered, we won. Ladies and gentlemen, round number two is brain power. So what's going to happen is that I'm going to ask each of you guys a set of questions. Now I have two sets of questions, A or B. So to find out which set you guys are going to take, I have. Two ballots here, just come over and we have somebody pick up one. Whatever you pick, you get questions from that direction. Straight. Well, this is yours anyway. You still want to pick it? No. Nope. All right, so it looks like Miss V and Sheldon, your set of questions are going to be coming from B. So you guys do have the A, right? So A goes first. All right, so here we go. Pi Pico Joe and Pa Debra. Brain power. It's going to be fun. Let's play. Now, what's going to happen is that I'm going to read out sentences, right? And I'm going to give you possible answers. So I read them out and you have just one try to get it correct. If you get it wrong, I leave it there. I do not pass it on to the next group. Is that okay? So nine set of questions coming your way. So listen closely. Question number one. After I fell down the stairs, I noticed a large bump on my head. I looked in the mirror and saw a large bruise as well. I know there's another name for this type of injury. It begins with a C. What is the word I'm looking for? Is it A, confusion, B, contusion, C, convulsion, or D, compression? C. Convulsion. Mm. Answer is contusion. Second question. <laughs> Second question. I must put on footwear. All I can find are these big heavy wooden shoes. I can't remember what they are called, but I do know that they're sometimes associated with the Netherlands. What is the name for this kind of footwear? Is it A, cleats, B, court shoes, C, cowboy boots, or D, clogs? They're associated with the Netherlands. What kind of footwear is associated with the A, Netherlands? What? A, cleats, B, court shoes, C, cowboy boots, or D, clogs? D. D. Clocks is the correct answer. Was that like a lucky guess by that? Right? All right, nah, cool. I knew it. You know the clocks right here, right? <laughs> Moving on to the third one. I have just realized that I'm not wearing any trousers. I really should put on some before the, I put on my shoes. I do have one pair of trousers that I can wear, but for the life of me, I can't remember what they are called. Which of the following is a type of fabric used to make trousers? A. Corrosive. B. Cladden. C. Corduroy. D. Carpet. C. C. Corduroy is the right answer. Question number four. Now that I have some trousers and shoes on, I think I need a drink. There are four bottles on the counter. Which one is not a type of beverage? A. Catsup. B. Cola. C. Coffee. D. Cranberry tea. A. Catsup is the right answer. Question number five. What is the name of the robe worn by Roman and Anglican bishops? Is it A. Cayman. What is the word? What is the name of the robe? Worn by Roman and Anglican bishops. Is it A, Cayman, B, Cassock, C, Cloak, D, Cadaver? C. Mm. Cloak. Answer is B, which is the Cassock. Okay. It's that robe. You get it? Papi, work with me. Are we good? I'm lost. <laughs> All right. Question number six. I really should have contacted a doctor to see if I'm okay. My back is killing me. Who should I visit to look at my back? A, the cardiologist. B, the chiropractor, C, the chiropodist, or D, the clinical psychologist? B. B, chiropractor is correct. Question number seven. I have an appointment with a doctor in town. I will use a map to find my way there. I just had a thought. What is the study, what is the study and practice of making maps called? Is it A, cartography, B, calligraphy, C, choreography, or D, cosmo cosmetology? Come again. A, cartography. B, calligraphy, C, choreography, or D, cosmetology? A. Cartography. Cartography, what's the right answer? Papi, you just messed it up. <laughs> Question number eight. Moving no, on, no, ladies and gentlemen. Papi, you should have you, no, you just messed it up. No, Papi, but he yeah. said it first, though. But you changed yeah, it to so Papi, that's it. <laughs> This real was wrong on this one. Number eight, question number eight. Before I leave the house, I must feed my um, house pet. 
It's a popular type of house pet. It is easily recognizable by the purring sounds it makes. What is the name of this pet? It makes purring sounds. Is it a camel? Is it a cat? Is it a cow? Is it a chicken? Cat. Cat is correct. And now to the final question for team A. I pack my mini car outside the building and I go in. There's a specific name to describe the type of building I'm entering. What is the name of a building that houses several medical practitioners? Is it A, the classroom, B, a cult, C, a clinic, or D, the court? It's not a clinic. Clinic. Is that your final answer? Well, clinic is very happy. Congratulations. <laughs> really, really, really. All right, we come to the set of questions. I'm about to start off with Tim B. Sheldon, Ms. V, are you ready? Yeah. All right, same process, set of questions you would have to answer correctly. In the Roman counting system, Roman numerals, right? Mm -hmm. What alphabet represents 500? Is it A, F, B, D, C, G, or D, A? Which alphabet represents 500 in Roman numerals? Mm -hmm. F, F. F, D is the right answer. Sorry about that. Woo! Moving on to question I number to two. School. Of the following four countries, which one does not share a border with any country? Is it A, Dominican Republic, B, Denmark, C, Djibouti, or C, Dominica? Which one doesn't share what? A border with any other country. Is it A, Dominican Republic, B, Denmark, C, Djibouti, or D, Dominica? Dominica. Yes. <laughs> A. A? Dominican Republic? Hold on. Well, you were close, but the right answer is Dominica, which is D. Oh, God, this is not going well. Uh. Question number three. Whether you liked him or not, chances are you've heard of the person who played Harry Potter in the highly successful film series. Question is, what is his real name? Is it A, Dino Ratcliffe? A. B. All right, so A is the right answer. In the Christian Bible, the man was thrown into a den full of lions and saved by an angel. He also has a book in the Bible named after him. Who is E? David Dino. Dino, Dino is the correct answer. Question number five. I am most little girl's best friend. <laughs> I usually have very long hair, fancy clothes, and sometimes operated by a battery. Is it A, dog, B, doll, C, dress, or D, ribbons? No. Say again? No. No. You left the wrong possible answer, but anyway, that's a different conversation. Question number six. He's a famous dog who starred in a cartoon series and has the series named after him. Is it A, Flintstones, B, Scooby Doo, C, Disaster, D, Tom and Jerry? Say again. He's a famous dog who starred in a cartoon series and has this series named after oh, him. Scooby-Doo. Scooby-Doo is the right answer. Question number seven. I'm usually found in an office with things like computers, telephones, and files all on top of me. I come in different types. Plastic, glass, or metal. What am I? A. Drainer. B. Door. C. Desk. Desk. Desk is the right answer. Question 8. Charles Dickens was a prolific English author. Almost everyone is familiar with the books he wrote. Classics such as A Christmas Carol and Great Expectations are some of his books. Which of these characters wasn't created by him? A. Huckleberry Finn. B. Tiny Tim. C. Oliver Twist. D. Dummy Duncans. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Which of these characters was not created by the man Charles Dickens? Huckleberry Finn. Tiny Tim. Oliver Twist or Dummy Duncans? Let's go with A. It's the first of all we don't know. You don't know it, Sheldon. Mm, I can't remember who wrote Huckleberry Finn. Huckleberry. Huckleberry Finn. Yeah. Have you heard of Dummy Duncans before? I haven't heard of that. Huckleberry mm. Finn, we all know. You haven't heard of Huckleberry mm. Finn? All right, sorry about that. Dummy Duncans is the right uh. answer. Now, the last and final question. I am an animal, also known as man's best friend. Who am I? A, a daisy, B, a duck, <laughs> C, a dog. A dog. A dog is the right answer. Brings us to the end of round two of competition. Brain power. We've put them to the test. Papi Kojo on one side. Papi Brown answer. Why are you shaking your head? No, nothing. How did well, it go? No, this were very easy. They See, I, I was fair. I was open. I no, gave you guys a chance no, to pick. Why, why would they even make questions so like easy? Yeah. But they thought your questions were easy as well. What you guys have to say? I, I told her that <laughs> this was easier. Yeah. Maybe the next time we we'll miss me. That look could just kill me right now. He's not being real. <laughs> He's the real one. How can he not be real? He's not being real. Ladies and gentlemen, let's take a next break. When we come back, though, we're about to do the charades. All right. This is where you can probably make up for it. The charades. You know, you can act that out. Are we up for the charades? Patrick, <laughs> are you okay? 
She says you're not being real. She's not being natural. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good one. When we come back, round number three of charades right here on It Takes Two. Keep watching. So welcome back, and we're getting into round number three, ladies and gentlemen. It's the text you right here on GH1 TV, probably brought to you by MTN. Sponsored by, uh, probably brought to you by MTN, supported by Python, and also thank you coming out to Elikem Kumaji, the tailor, for my costume. After the first round, we had Papi Kojo and uh, Padre Brenda lead with six points. Ms. V and Sheldon had three points. So at the end of round number two, ladies and gentlemen, we have a tie. So that means it's even Stevens right now. Papi Kojo and Padre have 21 points, and Miss V and Sheldon have 21 points. So, Miss V and Sheldon have made a strong comeback, and this is where we're going to decide. F was for 500. She F was she for 500. She trust herself. No, you, I, I thought you were smart, you see, because well, we discussed this before I coming am. on the show, and you're supposed to answer. answer. And I said she should go with the answer. She didn't go for that. No, but you still went with yours. Because ah, you didn't trust yourself. So, it's my fault. Yep. Ah. Our questions weren't that difficult, so it, it was cool. Papi messed it up for me, but yeah. It was cool, it was alright. Sometimes cool. mess things up. <laughs> I'm being real. <laughs> so yeah, it was cool, it was cool, it was cool. So it's round number three, we get into the charades, and this is where we decide who steps into the money round. Between Papi, Kojo, and Padabra, Papi, you wanna come over? Great, so we're gonna start off, and when it's done, I tend to Miss V and Sheldon. So Papi, first pick, turn it over, what do you have? Great, good, let's act it out, let's see if Pop can get it correct. <laughs> <laughs> Sneezing. What? Sneeze. I'm sneezing. Handkerchief. Toilet roll. <laughs> Toilet roll. Tissue. So tissue was the correct answer. Let's go to the next one. Pick it up, act it out. Let me see what you pick. Okay, there we go. Um, chopping board. Chopping board is correct. That's good. Two out of two. Let's go to the third one. Miss V, are you okay? I'm not happy. You're not happy. Yeah. Come on now. Here we go. Good. Number three. Um, egg. Uh, frying pan. Frying pan is the correct <laughs> answer. Three out of three, ladies and gentlemen. To the final one. Sheldon and Miss V are looking very worried. Okay. <laughs> Towel. Sink. Top. <laughs> um, towel. Face towel. Face towel is what he's looking out for, and face towel is the correct answer. Four out of four. You're good to go back. Between Miss V and Sheldon, come over. Sheldon, come on, Sheldon. Work like you. Come on, Sheldon. Are you okay? Are we good? You sure? All right. Good luck, because you guys are going to need it. Pick it out, act it out. Let's go. Can I see what it is? Oh, God. Okay, so that's the first one. Let's see how you act this one out. Basin? Basin is the right answer. Congratulations. <laughs> one down, three more to go. Let's go. Don't make me too happy. <laughs> yeah. I still don't trust you. He's even a base, right? <laughs> Dressing mirror. Dressing mirror. Closet, wardrobe, closet. Makeup kit. Closet. Mirror. Mirror is the right answer. All right, so it's looking good already for Sheldon and Miss V. Two out of two. You have two more to go, Sheldon. Let's pick and go. Can I see that? Okay. Butler. 
Waiter. Waiter is the right answer. Three out of three. And if they get this one correct, we're headed for another tie. Ladies and gentlemen, Sheldon, this is it. Let's go. Handbag. Purse. Purse is the right answer. And at this point, what must I say? It is four out of four. So that means I need to have a tie break. I'm going to take a quick commercial break, sort out the mechanics. When I come back, one team has to progress to the second round. And we'll find out, is it going to be Papi Kojo and Pa Debra or Sheldon and Ms. V making a comeback? Right after this, we'll be back. We are back and the competition just got keen out. We have another tie, but we must break that tie. One group has to go on to the next stage and win the money for grass for today. So is it going to be Papi Kojo and Pa Deborah? Is it going to be Sheldon and Ms. V? Me. <laughs> All right, so since the charades were so much fun, I'm going to use the charades as a tiebreaker. Now, in the first set of charades, we had words you had to act out, but this time it's going to be a sentence, all right? Probably a sentence or a phrase that you have to act out. So I'm going to play at this. So one person gets it wrong and automatically the other person qualifies to the next stage. Are we okay? Yeah. All right, so who wants to step up to the plate first? Poppy is the man. <laughs> Poppy is the man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you can open it up. Like I said, good luck on this one. This is the tiebreaker. I'm dancing. I love music. I love music is correct. Poppy and Padre have nailed this one, so you're good. Sheldon and Miss V. Oh, they don't do a batch before we. Come. No, it's just one. It's a tiebreaker. So this is it. Sheldon. Sheldon. This is the time. Can you do it one more time, Sheldon? Can you work your magic? Miss V, can you be smart enough to get this one? If you get it right, it's another tie. Let's go. Good luck to you guys. Oh, God. Okay. I am going to exercise. I am lifting weight. I am lifting heavy weight. <laughs> I am warming up. I am working out as what he needed you to say. You came close, Miss V. Close, but no cigar. Close, but it didn't happen. Close, but this is why I this say. This is very emotional for me right now. And Father Ben have got into the next stage. But I must say that was a very valiant attempt. That's a brave one. Congratulations, guys. Did well. <laughs> but at this point. Papi Kojo and Party will move on to the next stage. But the good news is that, all right, I'm not going to let you go empty handed. I'm going to give you some power banks courtesy Pisons. All contestants win power banks from Pison. Pison, your smart life. Congratulations. Woo! But then at this stage, Papi Kojo and Party are going to move on to the money winning round. And this is where we'll find out if they can make some money on the show for today. One last final break when we come back. How much are they gonna win? We'll find out together on the show. Congratulations, guys, one more time. So we're back, and now this is the decider, ladies and gentlemen. This is what we're gonna find out how much Papi Kojo and Pa Debra between themselves can win on the show for today. Now, as you can see, guys, I have four envelopes on, uh, on the board with me. I need you guys to make one pick. You need to decide which envelope you are going to fall. There's a cash amount of 1,000 Ghana CDs, 600 Ghana CDs, 400 Ghana CDs, and 200 Ghana CDs in the respective envelopes. 200, 200 400, 600, and 1,000 Ghana CDs, okay. right? But even like I said in the beginning, whatever you win, is going to be given to charity cool. and whatever you pick in here that's another catch if you pick up a thousand Ghana CDs there's a little task you need to perform after that to get a whole thousand Ghana CDs if you pick a thousand you get my task correct I give you one thousand Ghana CDs but if you pick one thousand Ghana CDs you can't get the task correct I'd have to give you five hundred Ghana CDs do you have an understanding yeah. are we cool fair deal so guys think about it and let me know which one you want you can come over come feel the envelopes if that would help Number one, we are number one, so we're going number one. I, I think Pa wants to say something four. else. 
Let me come over to Miss V and shout out who don't seem to amuse. Miss V, how you doing? I want to help them. Uh, no, I can. Uh, let's do this, right? Mm -hmm. Assuming you had the chance mm -hmm. between you and Sheldon mm -hmm. to play this part, mm -hmm. which one would you have gone for? Guys, go ahead, make your pick. Which one would you have gone for? Yes. Sheldon says four. Would you have gone for four? Yes, four. You guys would have gone for four. Yes. Okay, let's see what it is. Yeah. Oh, easy, easy, Papi, easy now. Yes, sir, go no, ahead. easy. What is your pick? You want envelope number one? Yeah. Woo, all right, slow your roll. It's your money. I will give it to you when you get it, all right? So, yeah. together, let's find out. Now, you said you'd have gone for. Envelope oh. four. Okay, if you're playing, you've gone for four. So in the meantime, let's see what is behind envelope number two. All right, if you guys envelope number two, you can just go over to the side. Envelope number two has the 200 Ghana CDs is gone, so that's good news. You still have 1,600 and 400. Okay. They chose number one because they want to be number one. No, we are, we number, are number one. one. Oh, you are number one. Okay, good. Oh, now you said you're going for what? Number four. Number four. Yeah. So let's find out together what's inside envelope number three. 400 Ghana CDs is gone in envelope number three. This is looking good. This is looking good, guys. This is looking good. So, now if Sheldon and Miss V had the chance to come up in here, they said they would have gone for envelope number four. I didn't four. say he said So, are you now putting it on Sheldon now? All right, Sheldon, let's see what Sheldon would have won for you. Hopefully. No, 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 no. You pick it first. Miss V, make up your mind. <laughs> Behind envelope number four is... 1,000 Ghana no, cities. We could have gone with Sheldon. So, guys, not to worry. That means you guys are going to fight for 600 Ghana cities. All right? So, I like I said, it comes with a little task we're about to find out. So, as you can see, it is. You told us to go with four. I was going on the 4th of December. So. You can't take back what you said. Really, you don't, you Sorry, can't this do one. that. 600 Ghana CDs, but you have to perform a task, like I said. If you get it correct, I'll give you the whole 600. If not, I'll give you 300 Ghana CDs. Your task is thread the needle. What? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you have some good eyesight because it's going to count. <laughs> so, this is what's going to happen. We're taking that break. When we come back, I'll explain the process to you. If you can thread the needle in one, in the time allocated, I'll give you 600 Ghana CDs. If not, you give me 300 and you take 300. Are we good? Yeah. When we come back, thread the needle for Papi Kojo and Padebra right after this quick break. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're back and we're about to find out if Papi Kojo and Padebra can walk away with 600 Ghana CDs on the show. But not before I do say my thank yous, just like always. Come out to MTN everywhere you go. We're grateful for your sponsorship. MTN would like to let you know that you can take control of your SIM account today. All you have to do is be part of the MTN Self Service. Call one triple three. That's one three three three, and register for free. Welcome to the new world, MTN. It's everywhere you go. And also thank you to Elkem Kumadi the Taylor for the hookup on the cross team. You see his phone number on the screen. You can pick him up and uh, pick up that number and give him a call. Now, Papi Kojo and Pa Debra, which one of you has the best eyesight? Papi, you're the one with the good eyesight. Well, come over and join me. Now, this is what's going to happen. There are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight needles. You need to thread them, but the catch is you need to do this with one hand. One hand. You have 45 seconds to make this happen. So you can start from whichever end you want to, but you need. 45 seconds to thread the eight needles. Are we okay? Can I stop my timers? Hold up. <laughs> All right, easy now, easy now. Real under, easy now. Are we good? Yeah. All right, are my timers ready? Can we go? All right, so ladies and gentlemen, for the chance to win 600 Ghana CDs, Papi, go now. One hand. Wow. Papi, one hand it is. You need just one hand. Sorry, one hand. Yo, Fair and go. One hand. Uh, one hand it is. You need just one hand. Yo. I've seen it done. Papi, you want me to sing one for you? Wow. Papi, 45 seconds. You haven't even gone past <laughs> one <laughs> needle. Bro, Papi, Kojo, there's something <laughs> on your forehead. See, let me show you. Come. Papi, Kojo, can you see? Papi, Kojo. Okay. <laughs> Are you giving up? <laughs> come on now. Papi, do you want to try? Do you want to come try? I can't even see. <laughs> come on, Papi. I late, I late. Yeah. You got past one. Let's go. Come on now. That's the spirit. Let's go. Can we get two done? We got two down. Come on. Can we go three now? Let's see if possible. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Come on, Papi. No. Three down. Three down. Three down. No, Papi. That's not three. That's two. You need to go. Stop me. Like, come on. And my timer is going, Papi Kojo. Looks like good effort, but you have run out of time. Oh. If you want to finish for the fun, that's okay. You can finish for the fun, but you have 45 seconds. Papi, you're shaking now. Papi, are you okay? 
<laughs> oh, so Poppy has given up on the quest to win it, but uh, I would have loved to do it, but Pappy, at this point, you could only get one, two, three, four needles done. You left out four needles. So that means I'm going to have to take 300 garnishes and give you guys 100 yes! garnishes. Are you okay? So you can go back out there. Some going out there. But I want to say congratulations, Miss V. I'm actually going to let him. Move. All right, no, this is the part where I come and say you guys have been a good sport. It was a great competition. You can come over and shake hands. Please don't scratch. Please don't bite. Please don't bite. Just shake hands and you know just come over. Come on. Come over. Come over. Just be nice, Miss V. Please be nice. Come on. Shout and guys, come back and say you know. I really don't want to do it. Do I have to? Miss V has to. In the spirit of friendliness, let's do that. Bobby Kojo, why you come on? Are you upset? <laughs> <laughs> Where's the love, guys? Come on now. So, yes, it was a good game being played today. We had fun on the show, just like always. Another celebrity episode has gone down. Miss V and Sheldon, great competition. You guys did well. Uh, so unfortunately, you couldn't get to that part, but hey, you get yourself your power backs. Congratulations. Uh, but you, okay. Maybe the next time we can make it happen, all right? And. Say again? I know, right? And Tommy Kojo and Paddy were on this side, won for themselves 300 Ghana City. So guys, congratulations for being the winners for today. And to you, the viewers at home, I want to say thank you very much for watching. Same time next week, Sunday, we're going to come your way with another exciting edition of It Takes Two. Still in the brand new season, God for the my name. Thank you for coming out to MTN. Thank you for coming out to Python and, of course, to Elkem Kumaji, the Taylor. And most importantly, to you, the viewers at home, thank you for your time. I'll be back. Same time next week, Sunday, and you never know who's playing on It Takes Two. I'm going to exercise. I am lifting weight. I am warming up. I love music. I love music is correct. Happy and Father have nailed this one. Yes.